you mentioned uh, last week, and I agree with you that uh, I think it's pretty inevitable that the Super Bowl uh, you know will be played there on uh, President's weekend. And uh, I think you know I want to discuss with you just a couple of logical steps to get there. I think it's obvious that you had uh, we you know go back to having a second bye week. Uh, we had that you know for a brief period there in the 90s where teams had two bye weeks. And um, I think the other thing maybe you look at, and this has to do also with making sure that teams are healthy for the playoffs. Um, now I know you're, in a, you're you're not a proponent of uh, you know having extended time without six. We were talking about you know teams resting players. So I mean I was thinking maybe add a bye week before the playoffs even start. Um, do you think they would, if they did that, would teams would your top seeds you know then have two weeks off? I mean no, they won't do know. that. No, they, the, the most logical way to get there would be very very easy. Uh, it would be twofold. And one would help them from a TV standpoint. The other one, uh, they both would help them from a TV standpoint. Number one, you would play the 16 game. And thanks for the call. You would play the 16 games over 18 weeks instead of over 17 weeks, and that would make the season two a week longer. So it means more TV package. Number two, you'd start the season a week later which will get you away from those early summer ratings, which are very poor for the NFL. The NFL comes out of the box very slowly. First two weeks are very, very poor in the ratings. Their ratings don't pick up until October 1st. This will back them up a week. So you back the season up and start the season the third Sunday in September. That's number one. Number two, you give teams two buys during the season. That will help them to heal up. And it will also elongate the season. You're not going to get them to play any more games. You're not going to get the players to play more games in 16. So you give them 16 games over 18 weeks. Two buys. You slip another buy in for each team, which can work. And that way you get a little more, a little more rest for everybody over the schedule of the season. You heal up a little more. An extra week here. Another, an extra week in, in each area. Where over two months you're going to get, instead of one week off, two weeks off, that will really heal teams up. It will make a very big difference. So to me, you start it a week later, and you play 16 games over 18 weeks, and I think that will work. And I think eventually that will get you to where they will eventually play the Super Bowl. Now this year they're playing the Super Bowl on the February 6th. They will eventually play the Super Bowl on the Sunday of President's Weekend, and the whole weekend will be a holiday. The next day, Monday, will be a national holiday, because Monday after the Super Bowl is the number one absenteeism day in the United States in terms of the workforce, so by a long margin. So that's why they'll do it, and it's been something they've been talking about. Plus, you then put some sports into the month of February, which right now has none. You know, February is a barren month in sports. There is nothing going on. So is July, but in July you don't care because of the fact that you have baseball for three of the four weeks, but you don't care anyway because it's summertime. Uh, you do care in February when you're bored, uh, you know, and that's why February has a lot of other things in it, like the Academy Awards and stuff like that, and award shows and stuff like that because it's a barren month from that standpoint. Um, 11 o'clock, we'll get to the update at 